Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to day 21 of 25 days of YouTube. So I'm not gonna lie, I actually had a completely different video like planned for today and filmed and everything. I was going to put up like a quick Christmas hairstyles type of video and after filming it I realized that that's just not me. <laughs> I don't do a whole lot with my hair because it's short and it has this natural waviness to it and I kind of just always let it do its own thing. So I don't know, it's just like when it's longer I try to you know put cute braids in it and stuff but even still like I don't think hairstyle videos are going to be my thing. Probably ever. But I tried it and it's not going to see the light of day because it's just so underwhelming. <laughs> so instead today I'm going to bring you something that is far more me and that is a list of books that I have read in 2017. And obviously the year is not completely over yet and in fact I am actually filming this about a week-ish before it goes up so yeah. I'll definitely have read more before this video goes up, hopefully, because there are still like at least three more books I want to read before the year is done, and yeah. So anyway, I'm going to first jump into the books that I have read this year, and I do have a Goodreads account on here that they do like reading challenges every year, and my goal was to read 24 books, and at the time of filming this I've only read 17, so I still have quite a ways to go and only like three weeks to get it done. So I'm also about to be on a little vacation though so hopefully I'll be able to get lots of reading done. Anyway I'm going to start off with the two books. There were two books that I read that I don't physically have copies of. They were on my tablet thing and that is Astrophysics for People in a Hurry by Neil deGrasse Tyson and The Subtle Arts of Not Giving a <laughs> and that is from Mark Manson and I enjoyed both of those books a whole lot and I would totally suggest them to anybody looking for just a nice like way to learn something because um, the astrophysics book I just found really interesting because I think space is just cool. It did end kind of abruptly which I didn't quite like but I don't know maybe those are kind of difficult books to like wrap up. And then the other book is just really great for if you need some sort of motivational type of something to punch you in the face. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, moving on to the books I physically have in front of me. So the first book is The Princess Diarist from Carrie Fisher. Anyway, this is like, these are pages from her diary about like, her Star Wars experience and stuff and it's just really really interesting like I don't really know how to describe it it's just like it's got pictures in it and like excerpts from like poems that she wrote and all sorts of things and I mean like obviously it's not just like she didn't just take her diary and print it out but it's like it's essentially her diary just rewritten in a way that will make sense to everybody else. I haven't read her other book, Wishful Drinking, but I kind of want to because I mean this was an enjoyable read and I would definitely suggest you go check it out. The second book that I read this year was Talking As Fast As I Can from Lauren Graham and I actually got both of these for Christmas last year I think. Christmas and my birthday or something maybe so yeah but I actually read them this year early this year and yeah this was another really great one it's just a memoir style book of her time on Gilmore Girls and yeah if you just if you like certain celebrities this one in particular you, you know may want to pick it up and give it a read I like to read about people's lives and things so that was pretty cool. Alright, the next book I read was Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them. Obviously this movie came out this year and this is just the screenplay. 
And I know a lot of people were bummed that it's like the actual script screenplay and not like a fully new written book. But I mean, I believe Cursed Child was the same way where it was like a script instead of an actual written out book and people didn't like that either. I don't mind those things. Um, maybe it's because I did like plays growing up and stuff that it just like plays out in my head properly that way, but I really didn't mind it and I, don't, I thought it was kind of cool to like, I read this way before I ever saw the movie, so I, don't, I thought it was cool. It gave me a cool way to like visualize it in my head and and then the rest of this year, I've actually been reading through the Hollows series by Kim Harrison. I'm currently on the last one. And I've actually read a lot of these books like before. I just hadn't finished the series. So because she came out with a prequel as well, which I haven't read yet, but I do have it. But I have the entire series from book one to the last one. And this one is actually... Hold on. I actually got this one signed when I ordered it because this was the last book in the series and I was just like, oh, special. And um, I just, I love these books. So I started all the way from the beginning this year and I've read them all the way through and I'm now on the last one. And like I said, I have the prequel as well, which I just got in and I'll be reading this next. So yeah, I read this entire series. It's a lot of science fiction-y type of stuff, you know, witches and vampires and pixies and all that stuff, but I think it's really cool if you like, you know, a fiction type of thing where you can actually get attached to the characters and it has like a running storyline through all of the books. Like you can pick up a random book and it'll have its own story within it, but I feel like when you read through a series, even though each book is very good standalone material, it still has those running themes that you can just kind of follow throughout the entire series. And yeah, I would definitely suggest checking it out. I really enjoy it. And like I said, now there's a prequel. And I am really excited to read that next. And then my last book is one that, again, I haven't read it yet, but it is on my list of books that I want to read before the year is up. And that is The Great Santa Search by Jeff Gwynn. And there are two other books that I don't know if I've mentioned them in previous videos, like in years past, but I actually got the first one two years ago, I believe, and then I got this one last year, and I didn't even know that there was a third book. This is the third and final book in the trilogy, and I didn't know it was a whole trilogy thing until this year. I don't even remember how I found it. I feel like I found it kind of on accident. Like Amazon was just like, hey, check out this book. And I was like, what? Anyway, these are awesome. I absolutely love them, especially around Christmas time. So yeah, if you like to read Christmassy type books that are autobiographical feeling and all that stuff, um, I would definitely check them out because they are super cute and just a lot of fun to read. And that is it. For this video if you liked it make sure you give it a thumbs up if you're not subscribed to my channel already make sure you hit that subscribe button and leave me a comment down below with any awesome books that you would suggest for me to read next year or just books that you have enjoyed this year in general and i will definitely check them out because i need to make a re reading list for 2018 so yeah drop those comments down there and i'll see you guys tomorrow bye